Hey guys, Alex here, and I'm gonna do a review for you guys on this radio-controlled 74 Cadillac made by Newbright, and this is called the Snoop DeVille. This is uh, Snoop Dogg's uh, famous uh, Cadillac, and this has a hydraulic system where it can uh, raise up and down on its chassis. It's pretty sweet. And um, let's see, what do we got here? Here's a picture of Snoop Dogg on the box. And it's got four bands on here, so you can theoretically run four of these uh, Snoop Dogg Cadillacs all at the same time. Uh, 49 uh, megahertz frequency, and I've already opened this to take out the batteries. Because over time, if you leave batteries inside the like remote or inside the chassis for a long time, it can create uh, battery acid, making it no longer uh, functional. But these are the batteries that were inside the remote. It's six AA batteries. I took them out of here, so I can't do the the test the test run on this car anymore. I even took out the cord that uh, plugged it directly into here. So basically, for the demonstration, everything was running off these uh, six AA batteries. But the car itself, if you're gonna um, drive it around, this is what came with it. It's got this uh, 9.6 V NiCad battery. Pretty humongous. And it came with a charger too. I've already taken this out as well. So this thing is fully charged. And I will show you driving footage uh, after the review segment. But first I want to do the review segment. So let's put this crap away. And again, I've already opened this just to take out the batteries. I have never driven this ever. Um, I've only shown the, the hydraulic system. So uh, where did I open this? Let's pull it back a little bit so you can see better. So I've already cut the tape here. So we're just going to pull it out. Oh, here's the instructions. The owner's manual. If you own the Snoop Dogg DeVille, you are pretty awesome in my book. That's what this says, basically. So let's take it out of the, the box. This is gonna come off. Like the bottom, the bottom styrofoam is gonna gonna fall out because of the way I <laughs> I put it back inside. Let's take this out. It's considered one tenth scale, but to be honest, I think this is more like one twelfth scale. So this is actually pretty cool. Uh, like there's all kinds of uh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, References all over the box like this top comes off here See this Yeah, I bought this uh, completely unopened, but it had been ages uh, Since this was actually made so it's a pretty old thing, but never driven ever Never opened until I opened it. So look at this. What is this? It's like some kind of weird tissue inside Let's put this down See this comes off that holds the remote in place. Let me show you the remote. This remote was actually... Whoops. See this wire? It was hooked up to the remote and all the battery power for the demonstration unit was hooked up right into the car. So that all the power is coming right from the remote. And that's how you're able to, to test out the, you know, the car's uh, you know, sounds and hydraulics without having to use this for the demonstration, which would have been really costly on the battery. So let's take this out of the styrofoam now, the car itself. Shoot. So on the bottom, it's got these twisties. That's good, I don't like using my screwdriver, which I had handy, but I guess we don't have to use it. Well, I'm excited, guys. By the way, these things are actually, uh, they're not hard to find. You can find some on eBay, but they're a hell of expensive. I'm talking about $300 expensive. So you can find them if you really want one and you have the money, you can buy one. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you have to wait. What the hell? Oh. Here's the, an, the antenna tube straw thing. It's pretty light. I mean, when you put the battery in, of course, it's going to be a little uh, heavier. But let's take out this wire. 
Why is it so hard to take out? I don't want to just yank it, but I might have to. There we go. See this? This went directly into my remote. Man, there's so much uh, stuff in here. Let's take off the twisties from the, the car wheels. The axle. Let's set it down here. I'll only put this... Uh, I wonder why there's two of these. Maybe one's for the remote. I don't know. So let's put this in here. This is the antenna. If you don't put this in, your range is going to be really uh, lacking. Then it goes right into there. There you go. Bam! That's a really big straw. And this is the last straw right here. I'm, I'm assuming... No? This isn't... Maybe it's just a spare... I think this is just a spare in case I lose this one. Or in case I want to... We'll put it in here for now. Take this down. Oh man, yeah, again, this is a 74 Cadillac. Sorry that this video is so long. But I still gotta show driving footage of it. Oh, look at that. On the back there's some uh, little cool things. It says Snoop DeVille. Owie. Dodo. And again, th there are, there's a hydraulic system, so it can actually lift up. See that? And uh, when you hit the, the voice buttons, uh, Snoop Dogg will actually talk. It's really cool. So let's see some measurements now. As I said, I think it's 112 scale. So the car itself, it's about 18 inches. Roughly 18 inches. Uh, let's talk about the, the width now. Slightly over six and a half inches. Slightly over this line. That's for the width. And let's, let's show the wheelbase here. The wheelbase is about, the wheelbase is 10 inches. See that, 10 inches. Uh, that's important because eventually, I'm gonna get this hobby graded and it won't look anything like this anymore, but I do want to drive it around in its stock form first. Uh, something to note that if you are gonna hobby grade this, this wheel opening is very low in the back, see that? So if your wheels stick out, it won't drive at all. Because a lot of times the opening is like this, where your wheels can stick out a little bit. On this one, in the back, it can't stick out at all. <laughs> so again, the battery goes down here. That's where the 9.6V battery goes. And here are the four bands that you can switch. You can drive four of these. By the way, this not only came in green, but there's also a black version of this. The black looks pretty cool, but I think green is Snoop's Cadillac color, I think. All right, let's go drive this thing. All right, guys, note to self, when you're putting the battery in, there is no, no battery door, but it does lock into place when you put the battery in. And make sure it goes all the way up, up long enough, or up all the way so that you can turn this uh, lock feature here. It's called open. Put it all the way up, otherwise it won't turn on. So let's turn this bad boy on. <laughs> Alright, we'll do some, some test foot driving footage. You're riding with the big Snoop Deagle double jizzle. <laughs> but jizzle, dizzle. Thank you, man. Here's the rear suspension. For the Cadillac Snoop Deagle. I lean back. I lean back. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's with the front suspension? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> let's, let's do both. For the Cadillac Snoop Deagle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let's drive it a little bit. I'm having a hard time turning it, it's so slick here. Oh man, that's beautiful. Hey, get your roll on in a real way. Oh yeah. Oh, there's lights in the front. I don't know if you'll look. It seems to turn a lot better too when I put the suspension down. See the lights? Now lean back. That's the front suspension. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Oh no, that was the wrist suspension. Here's the front. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on, get your roll on, little homie. You're riding with the big Snoop Deagle double jizzle. Yo, what 
up? This is the big Snoop Dogg. Get your roll on. Put a cat like Snoop DeVille. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. I lean back. Get your roll on in a real way. Oh yeah. Yeah. This whip is official like a referee's whistle. Let's show you the back. Slowly but surely, I will make my way there. Put a cat like Snoop DeVille. Ain't nothing to it but to do. Get your roll on. And ain't get your roll on in a real way. Ain't nothing. Get your roll on. Put a cat like Snoop. Ain't nothing to it but to lean back. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of slick here, so that's why I can't turn very well. Like that's why I can't really turn at all. Snoop Alright, I'm gonna save the batteries for later. Alright, so yeah, uh, Nick's engine sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna turn it off though. Put the antenna down though. Pretty old school. I like the, the remote. Got a little uh, warning sign here. It says, Vehicle will not function unless the frequency band switches on the transmitter and chassis are in the same positions. One, two, and three, and four. This will allow you to uh, drive four of these at the same time. <laughs> If you can afford th four of these, then you are super rich. So, this is a really cool car. Um, probably should drive this on something a bit more rough than this, because this is really slick, so these tires weren't really uh, gripping too well. Alright guys, so yeah, in conclusion, I definitely uh, recommend that you pick up this car if you really want it. But if you really want it, you need the money for it, because people are not selling this for cheap at all. On, on eBay, um, but yeah, if you could find it at a garage sale, uh, the people might not know the value or they might not even care. Or even on Craigslist, you might get lucky and find this on the Craigslist. Just look at your local area, you might be able to find this thing. But right now, this is super expensive on eBay, but it's definitely available still. People don't want to shell out that much money for a, a piece of plastic. But yeah, my, my future plans for this RC car is that uh, I'm gonna have my, my awesome uh, Canadian buddy, rework this onto a better chassis, uh, get this whole thing, uh, you know, give it a facelift basically. It's still going to be a 74 Cadillac, but it's no longer going to be on the hydraulic system. It's no longer going to have the Snoop Dogg uh, voice on it, which are pretty cool features, definitely unique, um, but we want to do something else with this body because you just can't find a 74 110 scale slash 112 scale body anywhere. So uh, this is definitely unique in that place I mean in that aspect which is uh, one reason why we really wanted this this body so yeah it's definitely rare but not as rare as you might think it's just super expensive because people know that this thing is is very unique and they will jack up the price on you but totally worth it if, if you want this but make sure you get it while you can so uh, yeah in its stock form it's definitely unique and it's, it's pretty cool with the Snoop Dogg uh, voices on it. So, alright guys, hope you enjoyed this review of this very old uh, 74 Cadillac Snoop DeVille.